Hello fellow crafters! Today we're going to show you some pretty awesome ways you can recycle your old stuff. Get ready to turn your trash into treasure with Crafty Hackers. But first, make sure you show us some love by subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and clicking the thumbs up button if you liked this video. Alright, here we go! For our first recycling hack, clip the bendy ends off of some straws. Make a square frame by gluing the ends together. Then make a little straw house by gluing four more straws up at an angle, connecting in the center. Next, glue some smaller straws in between to stabilize. Spray paint the whole design gold, and you've got a super cool jewelry holder. Okay, everyone, grab your colored pencils. This part is best with adult supervision. Saw the end off your pencil, like this. Do this with several colors of pencils. Now, grab a ring base and glue the pencil pieces on. Isn't this a creative ring? So cute! Can you guess what we're using this old Nutella jar for? First, peel off the label. Then, wrap a pipe cleaner around your finger to get this spiral shape. Spray paint the jar yellow, then glue the pipe cleaner near the top. Spray paint another container blue. Draw on some eyes with a black sharpie. And add some cute little cheek circles and mouths. Unicorn pots for the win! Plant your favorite plants and flowers in these adorable pots. Here's a use for the Nutella jar lid. Glue your favorite picture to the inside of the lid. Then add some mounting tape to the back and stick on a magnet. Instant magnet frames. Keep your plastic spoons for this next trick. Cut the handles off until you've got a bunch of these little guys. Pull the plastic lid off any jar and trim the side with scissors. Glue your spoons to the outside radius of the lid. Then add a layer on the inside of the first row of spoons. Spray paint the whole thing gold. Now you've got a luxurious candle holder for bath time. We love finding fun uses for clothespins. Here's a cool one to try. First, disassemble a handful of clothespins. Then, glue the opposite sides together. Once you have a bunch of pairs glued together, glue them all together at the pointy end to make this trippy circle design. Use it as a hot pad for your teapot. Don't throw away that old sock! Let's repurpose it. Snip off a small strip from the top of the sock. See how stretchy it is? It's perfect for making hair ties. Don't toss that sweater in the donate pile. Give this a try instead. First, cut the sleeves off. Cut the other side above the cuff area. Slide a piece of cardboard inside and glue the two sleeves together. Then glue the other ends together too. Now it's an infinity scarf. Piece of cake, right? Now we're going to turn this old belt into a keychain. Here's how we did it. Snip a 4-inch portion off the belt and glue this decorative ribbon in the center. Loop it together and clip the ends with a colorful binder clip. Pull one of the handles off and add a key ring to the other one. Isn't this a pretty keychain? Here's a cool trick. Cut a slit down the sides of two straws. Insert a photo into the slits. Now glue a string to the top straw 
and hang up your instant picture frame. Save your empty egg carton. We've got a fun project for you. First, cut the flap and top off. Then, cut the egg holders in half. Next, use an X-Acto blade to cut each individual egg holder. Snip the pointy parts and cut a slit in the back side. Trim it until it looks like a flower. Make several of these from larger to smaller, then glue the smaller ones inside the center. Add a jewel bead in the center. It's a perfect accent piece for your wall or a picture frame. For this, you'll need to cut a candle into small pieces. Melt the wax. Save the wick and tie it to the skewer stick. Balance the stick on top of a jar so the wick dangles down in the center. Mix in some dye to add a bit of color. Put some good smelling herbs into the jar and carefully pour your wax in. Add a few drops of essential oils to make it smell good. Cut away the stick and enjoy your aromic candle. Save an old jar and a kitchen sponge. We've got an awesome trick. Cut the scratchy stuff off of the sponge. Cut the sponge in half and stuff it into your jar. Pour some nail polish remover in and you've got a nail polish removing kit to make your manicures a snap. Okay crafters, you know we've got about a thousand uses for old plastic bottles, but here's one more we think you'll like. Use an X-Acto knife to cut the bottle in half. Then, cut the bottom off another bottle and put the two together. Tape with decorative tape. And you've got canisters for all your kitchen ingredients, like sugar and pasta. Not a bad idea, huh? Take the lid from your laundry detergent container. Heat up an ice pack and poke several holes through the plastic. That's all you have to do to take it from a plastic detergent container to a watering can for your plants. Pop the lip balm out or its container for this nifty hack. Push and clean out all the lip balm. and remove that centerpiece. Then stick the plastic ring back into the container. Now it's a jewelry holder, so you don't lose your rings in your bag. Here's a cool use for your old Tic Tac container. Pull the stickers off and paint the wavy design around the container. Then use a cotton ball to paint the lid. Fancy it up with some metal bead strands. And you've got yourself a fancy holder for your bobby pins. Save your roll-on deodorant container. We're gonna give it a new life. Pop out the little ball and set it aside. Pour in some different colors of acrylic paint and some water. Shake it up, and you've got a fun way to make watercolor paintings. Thanks for watching Crafty Hackers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more crafty hacks and ideas. See you later.